Good morning, I'm Eliza Petrie with your Ag in an Instant. I first would like to bring you some good news from our grain markets. We saw both corn and soybeans rally from Monday to Friday. May corn ended at 4.55 and a quarter cents, which is up 19 cents. Then May soybeans went above $12 for the first time in many weeks. They ended at $12 and four and three quarter cents, which is up a whopping 44 cents. A discussion that oftentimes comes up when debating agriculture's effects on the environment is greenhouse gas emissions. Well, based on a recent EPA study, agriculture emissions are the lowest they have been since 2012. From 2021 to 2022, emissions from agriculture dropped by 1.8 percent, which is the largest decline compared to every other sector, which include transportation, electric power, commercial and residential, and industry. Out of each sector, agriculture only accounts for 10% of greenhouse gas emissions. These emissions come from livestock manure, fertilizer use, and running equipment. But farmers work hard to find farming practices that limit emissions, which was reflected in this EPA study. Now for an update on the avian flu outbreak in the dairy cattle world. There have been 42 confirmed cases of avian flu across nine states, with the most cases in Texas, Michigan, and New Mexico. But the USDA is taking active measures to put a stop to the spread. Last week, Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack announced the USDA will be allocating $98 million for increasing biosecurity, testing, and compensation for milk that is lost in a result of the outbreak. And I would like to again reassure you that you do not have to worry about affected milk in the grocery aisle. Not only is milk pasteurized, but is also tested for viruses like avian flu. For your Ag in an Instant, I'm Eliza Petrie. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.